Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and this is the most highly coveted XR75 ever made, Redline XR75. You may have heard of Redline bicycles before. Long before they started producing high-quality BMX bikes, they started off, like their sister company, Champion, they started off by building high-quality racing motorcycle frames. And this is as good as it gets, folks. It's a very limited production chromoly frame with nickel-plated coating. And it has a lot of really cool features I'll go over with you when we bring it inside. But uh, when's the last time you've seen a Redline XR75 come up for sale? Uh, it's been a long time. I can tell you that much. We've done some research. I've heard that there's less than 10 of these left in the country. So, And I haven't seen one come up for sale. They're all, all around in private collections. And some of them have dis disappeared under mysterious circumstances, which we'll go over later. But uh, including Dwayne Brown's from BBR's bike, which was stolen. So let's bring it in the museum, and uh, we'll go over it. Music to my ears. And Kaplan, live from the New England Motorcycle Museum in Rockville, Connecticut. We're on the second floor of the museum, surrounded by factory race bikes and coveted vintage bikes like this Mako and the KX500 and some awesome machinery. And what, what is the one that is the apple of my eye today? It's the Redline XR75, arguably one of the rarest mini bikes ever made. Uh, there was less than 100 of these originally produced in the early 70s. Redline, if you do your research, you'll know that they were a sister company to Champion Racing Frames, and they specialized in, in making swing arms and mini frames. This particular model uh, is a chromoly nickel-plated frame, huge upgrade from the stock XR75 frame. And we've done some research. We've heard there's somewhere around a half a dozen of these left in the country that, that we know of. Uh, none of them are for sale. This is the only one on the planet for sale right now that we know of. Uh, the frame is, like I said, a huge upgrade from the stock frame. Starting with the foot pegs, the XR75 has a foot peg mount attached to the bottom of the motor, which is notorious for breaking, and these are welded right to the frame. Huge, huge improvement. The, um, the backbone and the headstock is much thicker, uh, stronger material. The, the swing arm is much beefier. Um, it's got a, a, just a, a, a much better strength and rigidity, and as far as some uh, pure sex appeal, this is about as nice as it gets, nickel-plated chromoly, so just gorgeous. Uh, another one of the upgrades, the front wheel uh, is a 17-inch. Normally, there's 16 on an XR75 with a chrome rim. This is a brand-new DID rim, as you can see. Um, brand-new DID laced with some nice spokes, uh, stainless steel spokes and a brand-new front tire. The forks are rebuilt, uh, new plastics on it, uh, brand-new paint job on the tank, uh, new seat cover, um, new rear fender. Uh, this bike was built years ago and never ridden. It was part of a private collection. Uh, I was sitting in the guy's living room for many years. And well, he's, uh, he's actually, um, the reason why he sold the bike is, uh, well, he's got some marital problems. So in any event, um, it's available now, much to uh, my chagrin. Uh, so we've been playing with this for the better part of a week. It's been here. It's been in the showroom. It's been the, uh, the uh, object of many conversations here. Look at the rear rims, brand new also. DID rim, a lightweight aluminum rims. Has a DG shock. Uh, the engine's been refreshed when they built the bike, so it runs like brand new. Uh, has a custom air filter setup on it, and uh, the engine's painted. The, the valve cover is polished. Just a beautiful bike. So the Redline is, as I mentioned, one of the rarest, most valuable XR75s ever made. Uh, the Brown Brothers Racing, BBR, they had one of these in 2004 and it was stolen. There's an article on their website about it. The guy had hooked a chain to the front door, ripped the whole front of the building off, not just the door, came in and he had his $20,000 BBRs changed, chained, a row of them chained to the red line. They cut the chain and stole the red line and left all the brand new $20,000 perimeter frame bikes there. They stole this bike. At that time, Dwayne in 2004 valued it at $10,000. At 5% interest, 14 years later, uh, that would be closer to $20,000 So in today's dollars. So what's this bike worth? Well, what, what, what someone's willing to pay for it. So we're going to auction it off with a reserve uh, of 
roughly half what, what, what um, Dwayne appraised it at then. And uh, we'll let the market determine what she's worth. But don't be disappointed. Don't be that guy who always wanted one of these and can afford it now and, and misses out because there's not going to be another one, folks. We've sold 1,500 motorcycles in the last four years. I've never even seen one of these. I've go to Mid Ohio. I go to Mid Ohio um, every year. I go to Daytona. Uh, I go to a lot of big bike rallies, and, and we're an ambassador site for the AMCA. We do vintage bike shows here at the museum. I've never even seen a Redline XR75. Why? Well, they only made a, less than 100 of them. Actual production figures aren't known, but it was considerably less than 100. Roughly a half a dozen left in the country. Uh, none of them for sale. All private collectors bikes. So. This is things going to um, really ring the bell here, and uh, uh, it's a w unique once-in-a-life opportunity. So, if you have any questions about the bike, give us a call at 860-454-7024. If you want to come take a look at the bike, you're welcome to. If you want to leave it at the museum here, you can. If you want to deliver it, we can send it anywhere on the East Coast for 500 or less. Kenny, is there anything you'd like to add about the bike? No, you just about summed it up. You stole my thunder with the shipping there, but. <laughs> But uh, eBay messaged us your postal code for an exact quote on the shipping. And um, any questions, give us a call on the shop line, 860-454-7024. My name's Ken Jr. I'm the sales manager in Kaplan Cycles. And I'm in the shop Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. I guess I'll summarize by saying uh, this is it's close to Christmas. It's the first week of December. If you want to buy the ultimate gift for a vintage Honda lover, I can't think of anything better to have under the tree than, than the only XR75 Redline special on the planet that's for sale. So good luck bidding on her. God bless America.